Alrighty. Welcome back to Combatant Will Be Dispatched Anime Review Episode Number 10. Yes, reviewing the final episode of the series. Though, here's the strange thing though. Um, the official translated title for this episode is basically, get this, if I can get to it, but I think it's a notification I'll get my way, is Strong Partner, Clever Partner. But they changed it in the anime to, in the English app, of course, they changed it to, get this, they changed it to Strong Partner, Smart Partner. Yes. Now, I did reread the rest of the book. Um, from what I can tell, they adapted pretty much the rest of the final chapter. They go through the first epilogue, and they go most of the way through the second epilogue, except they don't adapt the last part. There's actually, the, the second epilogue in the book is like four pages, and they adapt like the first two pages of it. Mm -hmm. Because the ending of that epilogue sets book three, which they didn't do that for this episode. Nope. Episode picks that were left off last week, where we have Six's group basically trapped in the cavern. We have basically Alice, they're trying to do a way to try and figure out to stop Russell. So, like, so I'm talking Android, so let's have, uh, let's have Grim try to cast a curse on Alice. And the thing backfires, and she ends up getting a piece of debris dropped on her head. She's knocked out, and she's out for pretty much the rest of the episode at that point. So she has six go to, to basically to negative evil points in order to take out Russell's robot. So he goes outside, distracts him. Also, he uses she uses basically the the the, the notepad they've had the whole season. Some of a bunch of boatload weapons like a bazooka, an elephant gun, an axe, sword, a whole bunch of stuff to try to take out Russell and his robot. So. After a while, even after using the chainsaw to basically take the thing out. And then, of course, Alice an extra plan. To summon, get this, a mobile fortress destroyer. Which, yes, the name is a nod. It's basically a spider robot. The name itself is a nod to the actual robot that was actually used. The actual the mobile fortress destroyer from Konosuba Season 1. Yep, which also popped up for the end of the first and second season for Isaka Quartet. Yeah, that's actually by far the first Kunosuba reference since episode one. And of course that the series may make references to Kunosuba because it's made by the same person. Well, who wrote the books anyways. The actual studio is different, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you're thinking, really? The actual studios are different from, like... They from the two shows, yes. Um, yeah, Combatants Be Dispatched is made by the student that makes it, is JC Staff. Yep, JC Staff did technically work on, I believe, they work on the movie for uh, Corner Suba, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, they worked on the movie, but they didn't work on the original show. No, it was different company. Yeah, the the original show for Konosuba that was made by Studio Dean. Yep, which they recently confirmed we're getting a third season of the show, which is great. I personally love it. The fact that we're getting a third season of it, which is great. Mm-hmm. Yep. But you know the strange thing about Combatants We Dispatched is that, okay, now they're releasing it over here, per se, but here's the strange thing about it. Like, Kunosuba, like, the light novels have not been, I'll, I'll talk more about this later, so let's talk more about this in a later episode. So, the Mobile Forge is used to basically destroy the robot and capture Russell. They bring him straight back to the, the, the actual, like, castle as a prisoner, and apparently the whole situation with Taurus is kind of mostly straight out. They recovered the territory they lost to Taurus. Demon already fled. And of course, well, they actually, well, have basically where Six is basically knocked unconscious due to be nearly crushed by Russell. 
so he was held in bed for three days by his very smart partner, who was Alice. And at one point, it looked like, though, that she was pulling down his underwear, but he was actually back on. And he's thinking, why do you take out my underwear for? And he, she's like, I'm actually putting it back on. And yes, we do get a censored dick in the episode. Yes. Just cause. My guess is the reason why they allowed it. It's because, well... Yeah, so... They... <laughs> because, well, this happened in the book, and he calls the call the... The Chimichawa, which is also another Corner Sub reference, except for some reason he first was as, as, as groin as that, even though that in the Corner Suba, that was the name of Mega Means Pet. Yep, so at least Mount Forge Destroyer, that made sense for basically an Easter egg for that one, but why the heck would he name his dick after a creature from Corner Suba? It makes no sense at all. Yep. Oh, yeah, and the reason why the whole pulling out the door thing? Because apparently he's had a lot of crap to clean up, basically, because he's been out for three days. And Alice has spent a lot of time cleaning himself up. And then after basically him getting put his pants back on, after them are a bit of arguments, they go see Russell, who's a prisoner. He's like, to make up water for the, the country. He's like, nope, not interested. And then, of course, they sick Tiger Man on him. Yes, they mentioned Tiger Man over the rest of the army. Yeah, that's the strange thing about Tiger Man. I'll get to him on my, my final thoughts. So, he comes in, rips up the cage, and tells Russell he's going to put him in a skirt. Yep. Basically, T Tiger Man makes Russell a crossdresser. Which, yes, he did this in the books too, so don't worry about that. This is not this is something J.C. Steph did not make it from the anime. And no, Funimation did not make this up either. This is basically from the book. So, don't blame J don't point the finger at J.C. Steph for this. Or Funimation, blame the creator for this. So, then of course, you're pretty still just sipping tea. And also, we have this little mix-up, basically, where they integrate... A little bit of stuff from the epilogue from epilogue one and two. They kind of integrate here. Plus, of course, we cut away to the credits where we come back. We see the the Korsak headquarters where Astroth. They mentioned Astroth earlier. One of the notes and because he's more agents, the war he does. He does get more agents. That's a you can kind of say that's actually mild setup for book three. There's one or two setups they have here. You have agents F F fifteen seventeen and eighteen. They're playing the whole chosen hero thing, and of course, I think it's um, the one who's the fire one basically chastises them. I don't know if those two are reference to actual planes. Yes, they're actual planes. Go F seventeen, F eighteen, and no, as far as I can tell, that's not a reference to Konosuba. Nope, not a reference to Konosuba there. Lola the Black is here, and she doesn't do much of anything here. So. We also see that Grim basically like upset basically the episode happened. So we see Snow where she just reading a book. Snow doesn't really do anything this whole episode. Nope. She just there. And I'm not blaming the anime for that. Nope. Blame the book for that because she didn't get much to do toward the end of this book. Not really, no. So like Six Six basically just to transfer her immediately. He's like, no, and then of course then comes an even worse thing. Talk about the whole thing. Her not wearing shoes. And her potentially. They'll think it's, they, they, they think it's all made up. And so Alice summons a pair of socks. Puts on puts on Grimm. And she explodes. And of course we see Russell. In a maid outfit. A French maid outfit. Making water. That was all Tiger Man's idea. He also mentions the episode. That once to finish here, he wants to be reincarnated as a little girl. No, that is not a joke. That is seriously what he said. And by the way, he said it in the book too, so don't worry. Funimation did not change that at all. Yep. So. 
So, pretty much, <laughs> like, every song can throw We actually kind of end where we kind of basically began with them. We have Six and Allison have a rock, and they, manage to, they, they, they have a dial drop. Commands have been dispatched. And that's the episode. It's a good episode, definitely. And it does wrap up the season. Now, next episode, I will be discussing my half-last season. And plus, I'll be doing a bonus episode discussing books three and four. Yep. But until the next video, bye.